The thing that is most distorting our education system is the existence of private schools. State school graduates are still likely to earn thousands of pounds less than those who are privately educated. What we're seeing is entrenched privilege. Why are the people at the top, why are they ever going to want people like you or I taking the jobs that they want to go to their privately educated sons and daughters? We will have an apartheid education system in this country unless we do something drastic. There's an endless stream of evidence that private schools help make our country unequal. Only 7% of the UK are privately educated, but a disproportionate number occupy some of the most influential jobs, whether in media, art, law or politics. I mean, take our new Prime Minister, the 20th to be educated at one school, Eton. But now, a number of people are asking if this is fair and if they should exist at all. As a state school teacher, why would I not want the absolute best for the young people in front of me? Why don't they deserve to have small class sizes, luxurious facilities, access to this incredible network of alumni? Um, and I think that would make our society much better and much fairer, and abolishing private schools is key to that. But before getting to abolition, we need to know what private schools are and how they work. Well, the origins of Britain's private schools date back into the medieval period, the late medieval period, with a series of charitable bequests to educate the children of poor and rising middle class uh, families. So they started out as charities. But gradually they expanded in the Victorian era when they became increasingly for the middle classes and they cost money. This trend continued into the 20th century, and to avoid being labelled elitist, in the 1960s they rebranded as independent schools. Fast forward to now, and how inclusive are they? So that's 6,000 pupils paying no fees at all, um, out, of, out of the half million pupils in independent school council schools. Turns out that means only 1% of people who go to private school are from the most disadvantaged backgrounds. But most people can't afford to go private. Rising school fees now amount to 50% of an average earner's wage, which is why intakes are dominated by the very wealthy. So while funding has been cut to the point that state schools are having to use crowdfunding and Amazon wish lists to pay for basics, a tiny proportion of people get access to the excellent support and almost unlimited resources that the private sector offers. Plus, private schools act as a direct route to prestigious universities and networks to some of the world's most powerful people. But discussing what to do about private schools isn't about attacking the choices that parents make. It's about an elite system that fast-tracks certain children. So, what can we do about this? Broadly, there's a few options. We could do nothing, which means there's no point watching this video. We could reform the system to try and make it fairer or we could get rid of fee-paying schools altogether. Let's look at reform first. And the main point here is, although they mostly educate the well-off, over half of all private schools still operate as charities today. Eaton, has there ever been a more deserving charity? Many private schools say they earn their charitable status by offering fee reductions or free places in the form of bursaries. So a simple measure could be to demand that they offer more but that would still only be a limited number of people. And these bursaries are often used to top up fees of people who are already pretty wealthy. We even found one school willing to offer financial help to families so long as they earn less than 120,000 pounds. Also, as charities, private schools don't pay full business rates. So getting them to pay the full whack, which is something state schools already have to do, could bring in an extra 105 million pounds per year. Another idea could be to charge VAT on private school fees, since they're currently exempt. That could bring in an extra 1.5 billion to the treasury. Or you could just strip them of their charitable status entirely. But what about something even bigger, like abolition? Look, let's not get too dramatic here. Because the idea of abolition isn't about destruction, it's about unifying and integrating our education system. That's what they did in Finland. Their education system used to be a mix of private, grammar and state schools, not so different from ours. But in the 1970s, the government decided to abolish private schools. 
It was actually the Finnish political establishment who decided that their segregated system was actually causing too much um, divisiveness, that they needed to establish a common school. We don't see education as an industry, we see education as a, as a basic human right for everybody. And that's why all education is free in Finland. It's against the law to run a private school or private university. With one of the most equal education systems in the world, Finland is an example of what could be possible. The neighborhood school is the best school because all the schools in Finland, they are all equal. And what that means is that by making the rich kids go to school with everyone else, they grow up with those other kids as friends. And when they become wealthy adults, they have to think twice before they screw them over. Critics say abolition takes away a parent's right to choose. But does everyone get to make that choice? What we have now is, is a parentocracy, which is where educational success depends on the wealth and wishes of parents rather than the ability and effort of actual children. Choices are underpinned by resources. And if you're poor and disadvantaged, you just don't have very many choices. None of this is going to happen overnight and there's no magic bullet. Abolition is just one part of a much broader change that's needed, from funding our schools properly to getting rid of all forms of selection. But one thing is pretty clear. If private schools stay as they are, then nothing is gonna change. Thank you for watching this video. We wanna hear what you think about private schools. So leave us a comment below and take part in our poll, which should be somewhere above me over here. If you like these videos, then give us a thumbs up, and if you want to see more, then click subscribe.